Drop one in. Well, Heather Watson, we're here at uh, some kind of a tennis court, but we're in deepest, darkest Paddington. Can you explain why? Um, I'm here today um, with my sponsor, Statoil, who's um, a major contribution to my career and my success and how I've been doing. Um, in tennis, you need a team behind you. It's, it's, it's not impossible, but extremely tough to do it on your own, so I'm so grateful to be well it's pretty good timing isn't it because um, well hopefully we we Brits like tennis all the year round but we definitely like tennis over the next few weeks don't we so um, uh, it's never a better time to get the kids interested yeah definitely and um, I think every single kid I've seen today has just been really enthusiastic, loving it out there. And it's the grass court season here now, so uh, it's going to be big news here and it'll be good to get them involved and excited. I'm a great believer that it's, it's not that we don't have the talent, it's just identifying the talent and that, you know, uh, uh, the next Serena Williams could be walking down the street right now, right now and she won't know and we won't know unless they're identified. Yeah, I think Now, you have had, by anybody's standards, a fairly decent 12 months, haven't you? You're, you're in the world's top 50, aren't you? I don't know, I haven't checked. Last time I looked, last time I looked, you're in the world's top 50. You have a WTA title under your belt. And you're returning to, to Wimbledon shortly, having reached the third round last year. So you must be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I had a little hiccup this year. I had glandular fever. But I'm glad to be back out there. I was able to play Roland Garros and get a match under my belt. And I've just been training, getting ready for the season. And uh, obviously we've got uh, your, your friend, rival but friend, let me hasten to add, Laura Robson as well. You're both pretty close to each other, aren't you, in terms of ranking? And that's very, very exciting for British tennis, and I guess it's nice for the pair of you because you'll push each other, won't you? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, people like to hear about our, our rivalry, and um, it's good fun, and it's, it's great that we get along and we see each other. I've, I've seen it every day this week um, at training, and it's good that we have each other to push each other along. Well, if you speak to, to Tim Heyman and Greg Wazeski, they'll say that it really helped having each other because, you know, it was very hard to be the, the, the best in Britain, let alone reaching the top 20. Yeah, absolutely. And um, to have that person, I think, you competing within the same field, it, it really does push you and motivate you. Do you sense the sort of the yearning for, for success at Wimbledon from a female point of view? Obviously, we go back to Virginia Wade, which is a long, long time ago, before you were born. And, well, I was going to say before I was born, but that's a lie. <laughs> It's gone back a while, but I feel like now we have, we, we're able to, and, and we've got quite a good set of girls that have the talent and opportunity and can can do it. And um, the men's side have Andy, yes, but I feel like the women's we've got a bit more depth. And what's it like walking out as as a British girl? Well, Channel Island, though, but it's, it's nearly the same, isn't it? Um, as a British girl, walking out at Wimbledon, knowing that 95% of the people are cheering for you. That's, that's the best feeling. And I think the best feeling I've ever felt on a tennis court was last year at the Olympics, when I walked out onto court one, and just the, the roar of the people. I've, ne I've never felt anything like Throughout the whole match, I had goosebumps. Just, it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Well, you're still very young. Obviously, the best is still to come. Uh, should we sort of go easy on the expectations and just let you get on with it? Um, you can you can do whatever. I, I don't read anything, <laughs> so I'll just be focusing on my tennis. But uh, obviously, aspirations for for the. I mean, what are you hoping, perhaps, to to achieve at Wimbledon? Fantastic. All right. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Congratulations on your career so far. Thank you. And congratulations on what I'm sure is going to be a fantastic career ahead of you. Thank you.